Wow, it's deep too. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice musket ball. It's almost like in perfect shape. Wow. Wow, it's right. That's in fairly good shape, huh? Yeah, it's gonna clean up very nice. Thimble. Nice. Now that's great. That's why I love recaps. You go slow, take your time, and dig more, and the results are awesome. All right, here we go. Another Thursday video. We haven't even begun and the consensus is we're all pretty tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wake me up. This will wake you up. Uh, we're going back to the loaded hole. Where we were last Thursday. Awesome hunt. Last week it was 53 degrees. Right now I'm already sweating. That's like 80. Yes. This is a cool sight because it's it's cool, but it's also odd. It's embedded on the side of a mountain, and when we go to this one, when we go, we actually go down. Yeah, bummer. Right. Because. <laughs> Give me one word to describe the hike back out last week. Double clumper. That hike out was so intense last week, Wayno's quit smoking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hit this up three times too because my chest was killing me so bad. So uh, actually, by the time I had produced the video from last week, Wainos had already cleaned his finds. His coin turns out to be an 1802 just like yours. Oh wow. Right, because that doesn't happen too often where if you are lucky enough to find multiple large scents, yeah. they're really ever the same date. Right, right. exactly. You yep, definitely. <laughs> Wainos. Would you say that you have a plethora? Oh, I do. You wouldn't believe how big the box is at home that's filling up with these. <laughs> I may have to ship them all to the stealth shack. I'm gonna have to buy a bigger apartment. Nice. Just... Bean pot shard, way down the hill. When we get to a site, and you start finding pieces of bean pot, you can guarantee it will be spread out everywhere for whatever reason. I'm thinking button. You really want to see what it is? Oh yeah! Look at that thimble, huh? Good job, Buenos. Dude, that's awesome. Very awesome. Thimble number two for the site. Yeah. It's not even, it's not even broken. It's just flattened a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No sides are cracked or anything. Beautiful, man. That's Beautiful. cool. Personal item from the inhabitants of the home site. Well said. Yeah, I don't get any better than that. So I went, spent the first 15 minutes down on that side and just gravitated right back to the lip. Found a chunk of an old knife down there. I'm right back where I started last time and I got this signal. I'm just going a lot slower this time. It's a little lead droplet. I wonder why it was so solid. I was just kind of through here. Really? That, that's got all the makings of a large scent. Really? Oh boy. Whatever it is, it's deep because my pinpoint won't pick it up on the uh, surface. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Keeb's got coinage. Yep. Watch it be an 1802. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something, eh? Wow. Large scent. You can see one scent right there. One over 100. I want to say 1808 or 1803. Oh yeah, you're not kidding. Three, I think. I can see it. Because yeah. wow. I don't think eights were that facing that way. That's in fairly good shape, huh? Yeah, it's going to clean up very nice. Very good. And it was deep. Very. So I could have just, just completely swung over and not hurt it. Uh, a good foot. A good foot. 
Well, you heard it. And I said, on your machine, yeah. And that's unmistakable large scent. Good job. Wow. That was loud. Yeah, I got some bean pot uh, shard in this too. Oh. So you came to completion on the spoon from last week? Yes, check it out. I put it right here so you could see both pieces. They're exactly oh. the right ones. So oh, now, yeah. Now at home I can put them with the bowl and it's going to match up perfectly. That's awesome. Beautiful. Now keep in mind, I dug that spoon bowl last time I was here and I did not pick up those signals. Huh. Coil difference? Who knows? Wow. Oh, cool button. This is good. Like I said, I'm working the side of the lip I started on last week, which was very, very strong. Uh, this is that log that I moved. I definitely miss this. I am working right up on the lip, and I got an iron signal. I didn't film it, because I just didn't. Definitely a tool. To me, it doesn't look like half a scissor. That's interesting. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But that is great, and that's why if it's a solid clunker, target, iron or not, I dig it. Keeps just came back with baby Tom back. And there's no shank I see. Two feet from the coin. Really? Yep. Very good. Rang the same, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, huh? So it's just a thing with me. I like to work the same area over and over. It allows me to be methodical and I just like the challenge. I like to find more where I've already been. Just cracked the ground open. Got some window glass. And a mid-tone. Ooh. More pottery with blue. And pewter something. Wow, if that was a button, that was one hell of a shank. Wainos just sprayed bug spray about 30 feet upwind. Yeah, I can taste it too. Wow. Oh, yeah. What are you using? Friggin' chemical warfare stuff? Oh, yeah. Is that, is that no <laughs> napalm stuff? So they just, they just walked away. I'm just still working right here. And it, I don't care if it's a low number or whatever. I just dug half of something again. Yeah, but it's half a round. Really? Yep, popped it out with a nail. Let's take a look. And I didn't get any improvement in signal until I got way down. You can see that's plenty deep. And the first thing I popped out was the nail. And then look at that. Ooh. That, I'm almost positive, is half a coin. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Yep, there's Liberty right on top. Yeah, look at that. Probably a drape bust just like yours. The date mm -hmm. side is gone. Very cool. And I'm telling you, I don't know if I was picking up on the nail, but yeah. it was it was ringing upper 30s. I mean, it was not a solid lock. So that's four coins out of here, and two of them were altered. Yeah. Well, Wainos just did the same thing. He pulled the nail. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's yeah. like perfectly straight. Mm. This is definitely dropped out of the pocket, never even used. It's not even a bend in it. That is beautiful. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I found that, I was like, you know what, that's cool. And this is, yeah, that's definitely a button. Nice, in with the nail, that's exactly what I just did. Yeah, like I had the mid-tone, but it had that scratchy, sounds like diarrhea kind of signal. All right. So, instead of running around orbiting, I'm gonna stay right here at the lip and keep digging any solid tone I hear. Only upper 30s again. Huh. Another button. And pewter. Now that's great. That's why I love recaps. You go slow, take your time, 
and dig more, and the results are awesome. Oh! Oh good, a knife. Sweet. Yeah, that was uh, choppy, but to be expected. But still, again, I'm just working the same area. Right. It's like the more you open. You ever see anything like that? Yes. First I was like, is that a pen tip or no. what? A parasol, an umbrella. Mm -hmm. The braces that keep the canopy. Oh yeah. This goes on the end. Oh. So an umbrella tip, I think it's called. You wouldn't believe the nice mid-tone that was. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like 48 solid. Yeah, there's actually still wood in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, this was one of those future finds back in the day. I had no idea what they were. Until... Oh, kind of like the door lock covers. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Yeah, awesome. That's a, that's a great relic. Yeah, it is. Ah, beautiful. Sandy? Thimble. Nice. Nice. About two. about two and a half feet from where the one last week was. Nice. So maybe it was a, a little bit of a spill. Oh, yes. Oh, lots of shard. Oh, with flour. Wow, I have hit a shard gold mine over here. Lots of it. Nice. Or, um, bend around your finger rings. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was that screaming mid-tone that I walked by twice. That is different. Yeah. It probably had a, you know, a fake stone somewhere in there or something, but. Right, so, and you just dug a complete knife, right, before that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I love it, too. Check it out. Very good. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, big dandy. Where'd you go? Uh, down to the barn, then followed that wall where the ramp was. Speaking of the barn, here is a clip from last week that we didn't show, but now is a good time to show, of Keebs down at the barn. I'm going to help everybody put into your mind's eye what the site kind of really looked like. Did you know, though, there's a person who watches our videos who cannot picture in his mind's eye? You know, it's a rare thing. Uh, Uncle Raggy, he, he uh, cannot picture stuff in his oh in his head. So sorry, dude. <laughs> Anyways, coming up from uh, where we were earlier, there was a uh, colonial bridge, and coming up, this is quite unique. The barn sat here, as you can see, right against the side of this road or lane. Yeah. What he built here, this is a ramp into the barn. Yeah. So you can see how big this barn was. Then there was a, a way to get around behind the barn and probably drive right up to the house. It's definitely interesting in where Wainos is was still barn. Right. That would, the, would have been the big long structure. This came out here to the ramp going up in. Yeah, so he probably had going into the barn this way and out that way. Right which was ground level at that time. Yeah, and this barn was probably four, sizes, four times the size of the house. Yeah, yeah, couple story. Well, there you go. So let's see what you just found down that way. Shankless, there's some type of design on it. Oh yeah, look at the color on that thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Another lovely button. Pretty cool, I'm actually inside the footprint. I'm behind the chimney stack, underneath where the house was. Oh, it's Tomback, beautiful. Oh, wow, that's beautiful, look at that. Hold that. It's like brand new. Yeah, and again with the Tombacks, I love how you can see the wear marks from hard living. Oh yeah, oh. nice musket ball. It's almost like in perfect shape. Very but, nice, geez, right at the it was like literally right under that rock. Right. And the remains of a gator here in iron. You're getting iron, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm over by the well. And 
we've definitely dug here. I can see the shifted ground. I'm curious as to what that sound is. See how easy that just moved up? Oh, wow. Holy crap. I barely even wiped that. And wait till you see this button. What the heck is that? It's a button. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at I didn't detail, even. Just like bland. I didn't even barely wipe this thing, Wayne's. Maybe that was a what they call an incidental. <laughs> we'll talk about digging a target, getting it out, and either just have missing the other one or getting up, moving on. Right, right. That's all it takes sometimes. You know, you recover the target, and sometimes you don't think to swing back over after you fill in your hole. You picking up snail signals or what? I think so. Well, while Wainos is digging that, I mean, it's literally two minutes later. I just dug a, I don't know, I'd give it 70% of a button. It's got to be tom back, be broken like that. I just got a really loud screamer. So from this side, it looks just like an ordinary piece of metal. But you flip it over there and you can see the pieces for what may be the back side of a belt buckle. Yeah. Huh, that is interesting. Yeah, definitely different, huh? Yeah. Usually the buckles I find are hollow and they're square. I've gotten two or three of those ones already today. Boom. Button? Button. Yep. Wow, good job. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Like, yeah, it's so quiet out here then. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. No shank, but still, I'll take it. Yeah. Any do. All right, so that's me. I am couple hundred feet down from the hole. You can hear Wainos up there. I just figured I'd come down this side because I haven't yet. Check out this signal. Oh! Oh yeah! Yes! Green. I was wondering with that 78 signal. That's your answer. Oh, nice. Yep. I knew I dropped that somewhere. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, some right over here. Huh. I just came down. I heard your shovel banging as you were coming through, so I'm like, oh, I'll just intervene. Yeah. So. That's the thing with a site like this. There is so much land. Yeah. But the the immediate square we're in, where the cellar hole sat, is where everything seems to be. But it's probably four acres. Oh. Oh, and a scutcheon. Great. Hmm. This this place has given up some great variety. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, uh, you dug that, but look what it, where it was under. Right, but does that apply if it's not actually sitting on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay! The hanging bag is different than the dragon <laughs> bag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that is funny. Yeah. Vaping going good? Yeah. How's yeah. your heart feel today? Oh, I'm telling you, a thousand times better. I don't feel like Sasquatch jumped on my chest, you know? <laughs> Pre-clump meditation break? I'm right in the middle of it. Oh, sorry, pardon. I'm, all right, I got a relic. So it's getting close to the end of the dig, and I'm just going slow and low while they're vaping and pre-clumping. And I just popped out another target. Which looks like oh yeah full set of cufflinks oh wow oh we might have to come back for a three cap i just don't feel like hiking it in and out again <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad right it's yeah yeah it's odd going downhill no uphill both ways on the ride out the walk out all right, well, 
two more minutes? Can I have two more minutes, please? Absolutely. We'll take ten. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so here's the last target of the dig. I got a another knife, and we were just commenting that we think we dig more knives than spoons in actuality. I didn't dig any spoons today, but that's my third knife, and very cool. So we got to get out of here. We need two things: cheeseburgers and coffee. And we gotta go uphill. Yep. So, the loaded hole once again. <laughs> <laughs> Boink! Ah, oh, my buddy, bro. Right. That sucked. The loaded hole once again was loaded. That was another great dig. There was actually, the variety was just as good as the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and right now in our continuum, it's mid September. So, we've got hopefully three months left before the snow drops. So we definitely are coming back here as much as we can because we want to orbit and we want to tickle. Right? Right. Right. All right. Till next time, stay young. Always keep them guessing. <laughs> oh, swing beep dig. We haven't heard that one in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live for your day. That's right. It all works out in time.